This video is meant to be a quick outline on the options available with Dashboard Builder within Solution Manager 7.2. Keep in mind this is Support Pack 3. With Support Pack 5, there have been advancements and enhancements to the Dashboard Builder. To access Dashboard Builder, simply execute transaction soulman underscore work center. If you have the business process monitoring tiles available, you, you select the configuration analytics and dashboard Fiori tile. If you don't see the tile, you may need to use the change button to add the tile to your personal uh, Fiori dashboard, your home screen. Selecting the tile will launch the dashboard builder. On the left side, you'll see you have a variety of options in uh, a few different areas, including application operations, IT service management, charm, project management, business process operations. Today, we're focusing on application operations. As you can see out of the box, we have a few uh, tile groups available. You can see availability overview. We have uh, performance overview, system monitoring, user experience overview. So these tiles are all pre-configured out of the box. When you activate system monitoring on a system, you then have this data being stored in BW, which allows these dashboards to pull query from. We have selected the availability overview group. As you can see, we've got, uh, it's showing two of our ECC labs and our solution manager system. And this availability uh, information is focused on you know, a certain amount of time. If you wanna adjust that, you can use the filter option and you can select the calendar days that you wanna filter by. So if we wanna just see the, a few days, we select them, hit apply, and now all of these tiles will be filtered by that period of time. If you want to filter by system, select the system ID and then select a system. And now we're only gonna see the availability data for that period of time for just SML, our solution manager system. Quickly remove those filters and we get back to the original view. If we select a dashboard tile, you can then drill down into the data provided. You have two views, a table view and a chart view. Selecting the chart, you have drill down options where you can look at additional data like calendar day. It's similar to the filter option. You have full screen. Uh, you can uh, zoom in and zoom out. Going back to the group of tiles, you also see that when you hover over the different areas, you can get additional information. Um, this is called a smart view. If you wanna see this entire group of tiles on a separate screen, you select this button here, change the view mode, and now you have that group of tiles and it also gives you the URL that can be used to either, either use as a uh, shortcut within uh, your browser. So you have access to it and you can hand it out to users that have access, or you can take that URL and add it to your Fiori dashboard homepage to help allow for even quicker access of all these different tiles. Uh, you can see we've got the ability to zoom in and go zoom in to each tile as well, and then go full screen. The same filter options are available in this view mode as well. Going back to the dashboard builder, you can copy groups of tiles. So in this case, you can see I copied the availability overview and call that custom system monitoring. Now that I've done that, I actually have the ability to customize each tile using this button here. We can change the settings of a specific tile. We can change the type of chart. You can see you have different charts available, bar chart, line chart, micro line chart. So there are specific requirements for each type of chart based on the data available. Um, and the system will let you know if something is incompatible. You can change the size of the chart. Um, you can change the detail page. So we're using a smart view on this one. You can see we have additional data we can add to it as well. Simply select it use the arrows to add it to the row or the column, and now you have additional data for that tile. If you wanna create a new custom tile, you can do that here with this button. 
The best way though is to use the standard tile, which takes you to SAP's uh, KPI catalog. Uh, Ascent is pulling from the SAP support portal, that's why I asked for my S user. And now you can see in a complete catalog of KPIs uh, that essentially will create new tiles for you based on all the different data sets. So you can see we've got all the different categories for ITSM, Charm, Application Operations. Uh, we can see these are actually new ones that SAP has delivered recently. And you can see you can actually rate them as well. So if we select CPU utilization for ABAP application server, we can see additional details, the definition of it, the threshold, so it gives you additional information on uh, how, what you need activated in order to use this. So here we're using ST06 uh, and OS07N data. So those transactions need to have data in the managed system because that's where the data is being pulled from. So if we select the new KPI and we select OK, it's going to download the new KPI down to Solution Manager. And now you can see we can add, select the data source from BW. We can set the size, we can set the visualization. So what type of chart, uh, all those same options now allowing you to create a custom tile for your own custom group. And then you would have all those same options to be able to save them, et cetera.